11th of October today, Wednesday. I've had an Aldi, it was a 9.30 start, nice time. Aldi, two pallets, in and out in 10 minutes. And that's made me super early for Tesco's Livy, which I haven't done for a bit. I've been in, I've missed me soup. I've missed me whoop whoop chicken soup. Ah, uh, it's two o'clock. That's handover time for them. Coming up anyway. And I'm not chewing yet or four. But I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna have a little go. Gotta try, haven't you? Otherwise I'm gonna be sitting on my hole for two hours. Or an hour. Because I'd come back at three. I mean, there's 64 DAF, it's the only one that this company has. And for a 64, it's not a bad little workhorse. One or two issues I've come across, like it leaves you hanging it around about, a bit like the, um, the Merc did now and then. Other than that, it's all right. Oh, one major issue. Thank you. Tesco's 40 minutes. So I got in two hours early and I was out of there by 20 to 3. I'm going to have to stop for my break shortly and I'm going to give you a little rundown on the truck. before, I drove on a while back and it was fine, you know, I, I'm, I'm definitely not a Scania snob anymore like I used to be, all, all the lorries have got their faults, you know, good points and bad points, it's got a lot of good points, it's a workhorse, it's an old, well an oldie, you know, 64 plate, I wish my car was a 64 plate, I just had my uh, old company there, passes on the other side, giving us a flash and a wave. See what happens when I cut my foot down here. There you go. Pulling out quite well. Earlier on though, I did it at the roundabout and it did what uh, Merck has done before and just died on us.
anything is at the minute. Uh, probably really unlikely I'll get to drive this one again. It's rarely, rarely there in the yard. It's got 670,000 kilometers on it. It's comfortable. The guy in front of me was like, he got a chase because he got in just before us. There was only two in there, Scania, what a dog. And they got that, I knew what he would say. When I rode in on the bike, I seen the two and I'm like, oh well, it's one of them. Nothing else there. It's like, says to the guy, Scania had a dog. Scania, I'll drive the dog. It's my legs. going to do a little look around the cab I'm going to just take a 15 here um, I like sitting here first of all because you see that speed camera there it goes off like it's some kind of bloody disco seriously if you were an epileptic tra uh, truck driver you wouldn't be parked here because you'd end up having seizures after seizures it flashes that much um, okay so I'm in a dash. It's a 64 plate, and so far I find it all right. It's very comfortable. Again, them Scania seats in the the 16 Scania's. I mean, they're all right. It's not too bad, you know. After a while, whereas these again, like like the MEN, proper comfy. So I'm gonna see if you can get a decent a decent view, right? That's your daft. Really nice, comfortable armrest. There isn't one on that side, which is quite strange, because I'm sitting higher than, you know, if I want to rest my arm on there while I'm driving. So really, they should have another one of them somewhere, but they ain't. It's not come off either, I've looked, there's nothing, it hasn't fell off anywhere. You'll know I'll be happy with the steering wheel because it's not like a bin lid. So far, I'm very, very happy with the snooper, but that is not what this one's about. Um, we'll start the top storage. The usual. Lots of storage. I haven't been in these myself yet. That's a good size. I could put my crash helmet in there, actually. No, I wouldn't. I could roll about. And another storage unit there. Need a bed. No. That looks proper comfortable that. It's nice width wise. Well, I'm six three and I can lie on that no problem whatsoever. Underneath, starting from here, you put your drinks and whatnot in there. Rubbish or whatever. Store more stuff in there. Um, Alright. Fridge, it's good, minging. And a storage compartment there. So you've got lots and lots of storage in here. More than you would need. Tachograph's in the usual place, that's fine. Make sure I'm on a break, I am. About six minutes. Uh, sunroof. Fair enough. Now this is good. So see you're sitting where I am now. Pull that open. Got yourself a nice table. 
Put your laptop on there, watch a movie or something like that. Have your tea on it. So I like that a lot. I showed you before. Too small. Little cups. Oh. Hello. Hang on. Stop the press. Too big. Can it win, can you? Anyway. Minor thing, minor thing, because I can put it down where I have had it, down there when I want to drink. you got your 12 volt, and you got your 24 volt, smaller ones. I thought there might have been another one somewhere. I've looked around for it, can't find it, which is a bit odd. You, you've got your light and all that jazz here. You've got your above light. You've got your, your heat and control there for when you put your night heater on now these are a bit weird being down here because when you're sitting in your driving position they're awkward to get to and awkward to see and earlier on this morning I was quite cold and I knocked them on for a bit but I had to fumble about bit of a pain radio shit I'm not picking anything up not in this area I will do shortly um, I'll be able to get radio Newcastle soon I'm still in Scotland but Radio Newcastle you kind of pick it up just around that bend and you'll get that all the way home that's you know that's for me I normally listen to talk sport but quality's rubbish in the the daff and really that's that's it so I'm set at 13.9 which is the, the height I have again only one one um, armrest now they could have easily just put a nice cushioned one there as well because if you do have a passenger and he's in there long term way as well they want comfort just as much as a driver more so you don't want to be too comfortable if you're the driver do you you would probably fall asleep these days drives themselves but that's it i love it i actually really really like it and if they asked me if i wouldn't mind driving the daff again i'd be like yeah why i no bother no bother whatsoever there you go there you go thanks for watching soon as you get past the A19 turn off on the A1 at this time of night wallop and this will be all the way up past Gosforth right the way up to the A69 hey ho